XRP, we start with one of our chart. Okay. First of all, if we refer to our analysis in my last video, we mentioned if we get any trades at all from here, we can look for buy. Okay, but the first thing is how deep this one can be or how complex it can be before we get for the next move. Because if we look, we look for the buy, we're looking for the price to break this top and continue. Okay, now I wanna see how we can trade it. Okay, first of all, the question is how deep this one can go or how complex can we get the flat before we could look for buy or not? Or how about if this is the start of the up move? Okay, first of all, uh, as I said, we, we're looking for buy, either if we get any buy from here, or even if this one tend to a deeper correction, okay? And if we look for the deeper correction, the first things we're looking for 0 0.963, following by 0 0.937. Okay, four, and the last thing is if the price retest this low, almost 0 0.9, then from there we have to look at that differently. We wanna see how we can trade it. For me, if this one is going to turn to deeper correction, I prefer for the price to drop to uh, 0 0.937 before we look, we take the trade. Okay, anyway, any trade set up from now for buy, if we get, we take the trade. And if we get the trade, the target for me I'm looking for the first target I'm looking for, if I'm, uh, I mean, is 1.133, almost above the top. That's mean if I get to this level, this is where I will start to manage. And the next one I'm looking for is 1.211. Then from there, I will see if there is a continuation, if good. If not, mostly we can expect correction, okay? And if we're looking for the trade within this one, if we get any trade, what we want, we want to get the sharp move. But I want to say that if I get any trade, I see is the way is moving is a corrective. I think either we start to manage it before we take, I'm mean, the price tag this price, which is 1.133, or we take out the trade. Okay. Anyway, we're looking for buy. And if we move to higher time frame, we start, I mean, we move to daily chart. We want to see what we have based on daily chart. Okay. If we move to daily chart, the only thing says we get this sharp move. We want to see whether this is a correction or how complex can be this correction based on daily. Okay. But as we explained based on one hour chart, we're looking for buy. And if whatever we explain, if we get then mostly this is the only correction we have it. The only thing says uh, we see what's the next. I mean, how the price can move. And even if we move to forward chart, similar to what I explained based on one hour chart. This is what we're looking for. And we need to know if the possibility made this one retest this low, we get this flat. That's why I mentioned if, first of all, if you wanna look for buy, we need to know this one can tend to deeper or more complex. And if you get any trade, we're looking for the continuation as a sharp move. But if it's a tend to, to a correction, we don't take the trade. Because even there is a possibility the price move a bit higher drop, it was a bigger flat before we get the next move. All right, bye. By the way, from what we have right now, we're looking for buy. And as we explain what we can expect, and uh, the only thing says what we get here is a correction for drop or con is it because we cannot call it a sharp move, but mostly we can expect also this one as a, if we move to lower time frame, we can expect as a sharp move with a small flag. This is what we can see here. That's why we can look at that different way. Okay, anyway. We just follow the chart. If I see any update, I will share. Thanks.